Hello, peace everyone. Welcome to day four of our seven day chakra healing. Today we're focusing on our heart chakra, which as you might know already deals with love, compassion, and forgiveness. If this is imbalanced in you, it might look like you deal with some level of emotional stress or you have an inability to form and hold on to healthy relationships. If this resonates with you whatsoever, please meet me on your mat in an easy seat and we'll get started with our practice. Beginning in an easy seat, planting our hands directly on top of our knees and using this pressure to inhale our hearts to shine forward and exhale as we contract back. Once again, inhale our hearts shine forward and exhale arching our backs, inhale, and exhale, one last time, inhale, and exhale, meeting me back in an easy seat, we're going to inhale our shoulders forward and up to kiss our ears, and exhale back and down. Good, inhale forward and up. And exhale back and down. Taking two more of these shoulder rolls to the back, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And finding your hands in prayer, we're going to inhale our hands all the way up into the heavens. And exhale, finding your right knee with your left hand and twisting behind you. Grounding your sits bones into your mat and lifting up from your crown. Taking one more breath here. And finding a neutral seat once again, we're going to inhale our shoulders forward and up to our ears and exhale back and down. Inhale forward and up, exhale back and down, inhale, exhale, one last time, inhale. And exhale, finding your hands in prayer, inhale your arms up into the heavens as you gaze up towards your hands, exhale, finding your left knee with your right hand and twisting to look behind you. Taking a deep breath here, inhale. And exhale as you release to come back into a neutral seat. Good, you can meet me on your hands and knees coming into a cat cow. Go ahead and transition on your own time. Seamlessly moving through cat cow and bringing attention to your heart center as you do so. So inhaling as we cat, as we arch our back, and exhale as we cow. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cow. Taking about two more rounds of these. Finding a neutral tabletop, making sure that our wrists are directly under our shoulders while our knees are directly under our hips here, creating a flat line coming from your tailbone to the top of your head. 
We're going to inhale that right arm to peel up off of the mat into the heavens. And exhale, threading that right arm through and laying your right part of your face down onto the mat. Your hips are still shining upwards towards the heavens. Taking two more breaths here. And meeting me back in a neutral tabletop. We're going to inhale that left arm to peel up off of the mat. And exhale, threading that left arm through, laying your face on the mat. We're here for three breaths. And whenever you're ready, transitioning back to a neutral tabletop position, taking your time to get here. And once you do, you can walk your hands forward towards the top of your mat to lay your heart space down into the earth, coming into puppy pose. Visualizing your heart melting into the soil beneath you. And taking one more breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Good. You can tuck your toes underneath you and find yourself in a downward facing dog. Once we're here, just walking our feet out, getting a stretch in our arches. As you ground each heel into the earth, imagining roots coming from your heels and latching on to the soil beneath you. Creating stability here in Down Dog. And rooting both of your heels back down onto the mat. Stepping that right leg in between your hands and lowering down onto your left knee, we're going to raise our arms to come into low crescent lunge. Grounding your hips. Taking one more breath here, inhale. And exhale, placing your hands back down on either side of your right leg, tucking those left toes underneath you, using your hands to press into the earth and shift yourself back into downward facing dog. Good, stepping that left foot through in between your hands now and lowering down on that right knee. Lifting up into low crescent lunge on the other side. Pressing your shoulders away from your ears. Making sure that your shoulders and your hips are squared. Taking one more breath here, inhale. 
and exhale. Placing your hands back down on either side of that left foot, tucking those right toes underneath and shifting back into downward facing dog. After grounding your heels here, walking your feet up to meet your hands and coming into forward fold. Once we're here in forward fold, you can grab a hold of your elbows if you feel called to do so, and maybe swing right to left. And slowing down that swing, coming back into a neutral forward fold. We're going to bend our left knee while placing that left hand on the earth beneath us and lifting up that right hand into the heavens while our gaze is towards our right hand. And whenever you're ready, switching to the other side, bending that right knee as the left leg stays straight, looking up towards the left hand. And coming back down into a forward fold. We're going to bend our knees and reach up into the heavens, inhale, and exhale, Samastitihi, straightening your legs, coming into prayer right in front of your heart center. Good, inhale, our arms reach up into the heavens, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, heart is shining towards the top of your mat, and exhale, folding back forward. Planting your hands on the ground, stepping or hopping back and moving through your flow. Exhale as you chaturanga. Inhale as you upward dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Once we're here, stepping that right leg in between your hands, coming into high lunge. You can keep your hands on the ground, or you can lift them up to come into high crescent lunge. It's your choice. Wherever you are, staying here for two deep breaths. If you are in high crescent lunge, go ahead and lower your arms down onto the earth. And we're going to lower our left knee down and pick up our left toes with our right hand. Opening that heart center. Gazing back towards our left toes. Bringing our left toes in closer to our body and sinking our hips down towards the ground. Go ahead and lower down those left toes back down onto the mat and using your hands on either side of us, pressing back into half split. You can keep your back flat here while gazing at your right toes or you can round your back out relaxing on that right thigh. And using your hands to walk yourself back into low lunge 
and pressing your hands into the earth, tucking those left toes underneath you and shifting your hips back to downward facing dog. Bringing our left foot in between our hands, coming into high lunge. If you lift it up into high crescent lunge on the other side, go ahead and do this. If not, go ahead and keep your hands where they are, staying here for two breaths. Lowering your hands down if you were in high crescent lunge and lowering down that right knee and picking up our right toes with our left hand. Releasing those toes back down onto the ground and shifting our hips back to come into half split. Using our hands on the earth, shifting ourselves back into a low lunge tucking those toes behind us and shifting our hips into a downward facing dog. Walking our feet to meet our hands in a forward fold. Bending our knees generously and reaching up into the heavens, inhale. And exhale, Samasthiti, straightening your legs. From here, we are transitioning into Sun Salutation C, which is a beautiful heart opener. And if you ever feel the need to quickly open up your heart center, this is a wonderful practice. So we are going to inhale our arms up and back, coming into a standing back bend. And exhale, folding forward over those legs. And inhale, halfway lift. And as we exhale, we're going to step our right toes back, lowering down onto our knees, coming into low crescent lunge. And planting our hands onto the mat, tucking our right toes underneath you and stepping our left foot back to come into downward facing dog. And from here, we're going to lower down onto our knees, chest and chin. And using our hands planted into the earth to push our body through coming into upward dog. And tucking our toes underneath us, shifting into downward dog, exhale. Good, stepping our right leg through in between our hands and lowering down into low crescent lunge on the other side. And planting our hands back down onto the earth, we're going to step our left foot in to meet our right to come into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding back forward. Bending our knees generously, reaching up into the heavens, coming into standing back bend once again. And exhale, Samastitihi, coming into Mountain Pose. Good. And from here, we're going to step our feet out about mat width distance apart. You can place your hands on your hips here. And we're going to hinge at our hips, coming into a forward fold. 
You can place your hands down onto the mat. You can keep them on your hips or you can even grab a hold of your elbows. Whatever feels comfortable for you. Relaxing here for about two more breaths. Go ahead and plant your hands into the earth and step your feet back to come into a plank and lower your body down to come onto your belly. Good. From here, we're going to shift ourselves into a sphinx pose. So making sure that our elbows are in a 90 degree angle while our toes are kissing each other behind us and pressing our shoulders away from our ears. We're here for three breaths. And as you do your last exhale, releasing down onto the earth, releasing your forehead down onto the mat and coming into Sphinx one more time taking one more breath here, inhale and exhale lowering your forehead back down onto the mat good from here we're going to place our hands on either side of our shoulders and lift our body up to come into seal pose taking one deep breath here inhale and exhale, lower down back onto your belly, back onto your forehead. <sighs> Preparing ourselves to do seal pose one last time. Your hands are next to your shoulders. Your shoulders are pressing away from your ears, lifting up into seal pose. inhale and as you exhale shift your body back to come into a child's pose your toes are kissing behind you and your knees are extended out towards the sides of the mat relaxing your body in between your legs Maybe bringing your hands in a reverse prayer behind your back. Getting a deeper stretch in those triceps. Relaxing here for about two breaths. Good. We're going to stay on our knees here and roll up your spine one vertebrae at a time so that we are standing on our knees and shifting into a camel pose series. So go ahead and grab onto your right ankle behind you with your right hand and raise your left arm up into the heavens gazing up at your hand. and relaxing shifting to the other side grabbing a hold of that left ankle with your left hand windmilling that right arm up into the heavens relaxing back down 
Good, you can take this round one more time, or you can go ahead and try your camel pose. So grabbing a hold of that right ankle with your right hand, and grabbing a hold of the left ankle with your left hand, and pressing your hips forward, lifting your heart space up into the heavens, coming into camel pose. You can tuck your toes behind you if that feels better for your body. And relaxing out of this pose. And you can go ahead and meet me on your back. Once we're here on our back, Placing our feet directly under our hips and our hands on either side of our hips. Pressing into the earth with our hands and feet, inhaling here. And exhale, lifting our hips up into the heavens, coming into bridge pose. Inhale here. Exhale, release back down onto the earth. Continuing to press into your mat with your hands and feet. Inhale. Exhale. Lifting your hips up into bridge pose. Inhale. And exhale, lowering back down onto the earth. Good. Transitioning into happy baby, we can bring our hands on the outer parts of our feet here, bringing our knees on the outside of our torso, opening up our hips, And bringing our knees into our chest, giving our legs a big hug. Inhale here. And exhale. Release into Shavasana. You can go ahead and close your eyes. Returning to your breath. Taking a moment for yourself now to rest here in Shavasana. Allow your body to melt into the earth beneath you. Knowing that you are fully deserving of this rest now. Begin to wiggle your fingers and bringing one hand on top of the other, 
right on top of your heart space. You can keep your eyes closed and repeat these affirmations out loud or in your mind. I am love. I forgive myself and others. I lead with my heart. Taking a deep inhale into your heart space and exhale. Beautiful. You can stay right here. There's no need to move. Allow yourself to revel in this space. Thank you all so much for practicing with me today. I'll see you tomorrow for day five. Blessings.